Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how Abbey Recognition Server integrates with SharePoint Online. Now this is a very neat integration, it's very quick and it obtains high quality OCR results for us. Uh, what you see on the left here is what we call an input folder or a hot folder. This is where we're going to simply drag and drop folders that we want to be OCR'd and then put here on the right into SharePoint Online. Now the cool part that I'm going to show you is that I'm going to be dragging and dropping what we call TIFF image files into the hot folder. In, in the process of OCRing them, we will also convert them to a searchable PDF. And that document will be stored in SharePoint as a PDF, also searchable, so that we can find the content in it at a later time. So all I'm going to do is copy and paste some files into the input folder. They will not stay there long. You can see now they are already gone. What the software is doing right now is converting those to PDF files and once again making them searchable for us. So if we go over here and we refresh our SharePoint Online site, you can see I now have three PDF files. In fact, if I maximize this here, you will see I have those files right here and I can simply click on them. And if I zoom in here just a little bit, you can see that I can highlight the text meaning that we do have searchable content and that SharePoint will be able to to crawl and index that content for us. So it's really that simple. All I did is drag and drop into a hot folder and now they are there in SharePoint. Now I want to show you a little bit behind the scenes because I want to I want you to understand how easy this is. This is what we call the administration console in recognition server and what I did is I just com completed this document uh, workflow and you can see here, I'll just run through the steps very quickly. Um, and then the first input, we just tell the system, wh what, is it, what are the files that we're going to capture? Where are they located and which ones do we want to process? Uh, for this one that you just saw, we're just saying, hey, we want every file in there. We can tell the OCR results how well we want them to be captured. Do we want high quality results or do we want high speed or do we want somewhere in the middle? And also we can target the language on the software here as well. Um, if we have barcodes and things like that, we would also process them, process them here. We can tell the software how we want to separate um, the jobs. And for this one, we just said, hey, for every file going into that hot folder, we want you to create a job or a file in the output. Uh, we can look at quality control. So for example, if we wanted staff to be involved before it ended up in SharePoint, uh, we have the ability to stop and require what we call verification in the software. And we can do that based on, on the criteria that you see here, whether it's on all documents or if it's just based on a certain range there of low confidence characters. Um, we can also handle exceptions and things just different ways and different ways you want to control it there. If we want to index the document, for example, I have invoice documents that we process. Maybe I wanted to index them by invoice number or even invoice date or vendor. We have the ability to allow a user to do that. In this case, we did not. We bypassed indexes, but we can um, stop the process and require um, an, an AP clerk or another clerk just randomly processing other documents to um, provide the indexing information. And then you can see here we have our output. The output here is as simple as saying, look, I want a PDF document. And if I hit edit, you'll see a little bit um, of this information showing up here for us. You can say, I want a PDF document. You can say, I want to save this in the SharePoint library. And then we simply provide the, the URL of where we're going to have the documents live. Um, you know, what library, what folder, and those kind of things. We also have full control over down here of the naming rules of the document. So we can even use index information that we captured to process those for us. And it's really that simple. This is how easy it is. Honestly, it, it probably setting up uh, a SharePoint online OCR process um, this simple is probably no more than a 15 minute process and that includes installing the software. So a very simple and easy to use interface here from an administration perspective. And the cool part is then is we have all of our searchable content in SharePoint Online in the cloud so it's accessible by any staff distributively. So um, that's Abbey Recognition Server. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you understand it. it's such a neat and easy to use and easy to implement product. And please contact us today to learn more.